Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Burj Khalifa. This included 333 pieces, and it's part of the it's part of the uh, mini architecture line. I think it's a very cool set. It comes with this cool printed piece, which shows which says Burj Khalifa. It's one I've had for a while now, and it's pretty dusty. I just dusted before, but it's still a little dusty. Anyways. It's on this cool stand with like a black outline and it says, says Burj Khalifa. If you didn't know, this is the tallest building in the world. And it's pretty tall, like I said. It's got a very cool design. It uses these pieces to um, uh, get these angles or the, the triangular look from the top. You can see kind of got this triangular look, look with three three sides kind of in it. It's a little bit circular, so I have to have these joint pieces, just in case you're wondering if you're hearing noises under here. That's my cat. It's a little crazy. Anyways, um, it's got these, um, basically it's connected on here at the bottom with like a Technic pin and two Technic pieces. You can, so if you have Technic pieces, you can kind of see them under there. And these, it has these three uh, smaller buildings, I guess that's what they are, at the base of it. And two, the two in the front are connected just on one red stud with a hole in it so you can fit that. And it just goes right in the center like that. And it's the same thing with this one here. And... This one in the back is not an angle or anything. It doesn't need to be at an angle. It's just, it, this one's connected on two, two jumper plates, although they came off with it for some reason. <laughs> um, I can't really talk about how fun the build was because I built this a very long time ago and I don't remember. But it seems like it uses lots of snot technique. I mean, studs not on top, if you didn't know. And the, my only problem with it is that this at the top here can spin because it's just connected on here with the Technic pin. That goes in there. So that's my only problem with it and I can't really find the correct angle. I have to like look at pictures of the set to find the right angle. I think it's like that. I'm not sure though. Anyways, you can see it uses these uh, cheese slopes or whatever. Um, or cheese wedges, I think it's what these are called. One by twos and one by ones for the dark bluish gray ones. It's a very cool design. And then up here uses even more snot, but none of those cheese wedges. It just uses tiles. Some of these, like, I'm not sure what you would call these tiles, but it's a pretty cool set. I would recommend this. It's a very fun build. There's like a big hole down the center, which actually you can, you can see in there. There's some stuff in the center, just like how this connects on. But anyways, here's the bottom of the stand. It's just the bottom of the, the these black plates, or the, I guess they're gray plates. And you use a bunch of these one by four, or one by, or two by two tiles here. And, and tan color to get that look. Um, well, I think it's a great set. The only architecture set that I have, I, I think I want some more of these after taking a good look at this. It's pretty cool. I think this is probably the tallest one. I think I, th I think this is like 15 inches tall, maybe. I think that's what it said on the on the Lego website. That seems just about right, but. It's a very cool set, 333 pieces, exactly. It's, a, it's very cool. I recommend this to everybody. See you guys later.